How's it going, boys? So I just finished using each and every single one of those sex toys that you see here in front of me and already posted the video on my OnlyFans. However, I wanted to make a video for here on YouTube just to give you guys my feedback after testing 12 different masturbators. So the whole point of this video is to actually test all those masturbators and rank them from the best one to the least favorite one. And I'm gonna leave links to each and every one of those masturbators in the description of this video below. So I'm going to go in order on each and every one of them. So the first one is gonna be number one, number two, number three, number four, until number 11. So you know which number I'm actually talking about because their names really don't make any sense. Okay, so I'm going to make it very quick and to the point. The first one that I tested is this really fancy looking yellow one and it was pretty good it has a couple of modes so it has vibration and it has vacuum suction it's okay it's not like the best continued moving onwards after trying it then the next one i've tested is this one it has like a vagina opening and inside there's a cylinder that moves and rolls and moves inward and outward this one was actually really good and uh, it's gonna make it to the finals. I'm just letting you know from now. This was one of the best ones that I have tested, mainly because it's something that you basically cannot replicate either with your hand or with a simple like flashlight or something like this because it rolls and it has a lot of textures inside and it rolls in a big speed. So it stimulates you in many different ways. Uh, so this one is going to make it till the last after that i tested a very useless one i wouldn't recommend you to get it it looks like penis pump which in my opinion it actually is a penis pump maybe perhaps you can use it as one but it barely worked because there is basically no airflow inside so it's very difficult to go in it and not just this but the suction is basically just simulating a vacuum pump and it's not something that was pleasant Next up, number four. This one was a very basic. It basically has also suction and vibration. I didn't really feel the vibration that much. Uh, the suction, honestly, I think is just a gimmick. So the vacuum that a lot of those uh, masturbators have this vacuum in them. It really doesn't do much. I don't really enjoy it that much, but whatever. So this one really didn't make it to the finals. Next up is one that I was very surprised by. This cheap looking masturbator. The vibration inside is okay, but the texture, I don't know if you guys can see. So the texture inside is really cool. It has a really good feeling to it. It's very light, very easy to use. So that made it to the finals, like top four, I would say. Afterwards, I tried this one. It's a huge one and uh, I couldn't really use it because it didn't turn on. So that was a failure, but the texture inside was actually pretty good. But again, I wouldn't recommend something that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. I made sure to charge everything before I started this video. So that was supposed to be fully charged, but it didn't work. Next up is one of my absolute favorites. I was actually very surprised that this one was really good. So it looks very simple, right? This kind of rainbow color. The thing about this one is something I can't imply in a video, but it's made of a very, very thick consistency, very thick texture inside, and it makes it feel absolutely amazing, okay? So this one was one of my favorites and definitely made it to the finals. Probably a, a sex toy that I'm probably gonna use I never thought I would say something like that because I don't usually use sex toys that much, but this one was really amazing. Next up, and we are now at number two, four. So this is number eight. Again, I reviewed it in the past. Very simple masturbator. This one wasn't bad, but it's almost like light version of this. So it's not as intense you don't feel the texture as much, but perhaps some people that are more sensitive might prefer this one. So it's really not bad. At the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you exactly the ranking of each one of them. Next up is this three-in-one fleshy. Um, it's okay. 
I mean, it's very similar to the other ones that I mentioned before, the other white one. It vibrates, the vibration is not really felt that strongly, and it also has a suction which you can control, which is a pretty cool thing. But again, I'm not a really big fan of this vacuum suction. Next up, this is a very interesting one. I personally don't like it that much, but for people that really like the intense feeling of those kind of plasticky nipples, you really feel them. But it's not something that will simulate the feeling of a woman or a vagina. So if you like something this intense and it also has very intense vibrations, it's pretty cool. But for me personally, it didn't make it to the finals. All right, I'm gonna go to number 12 first because number 11 is the number one. So this is number 12. Again, very basic, very similar to the other ones. Uh, has, I think, suction, has a suction, has a vibration inside. It's a meh, didn't really enjoy it. Now, let's talk about this crazy ass vibrator. This is number 11. Jesus Christ, uh, where do I begin? All right, so this one is really intense. It's, it's incredible. Like, the moment I tried it, it made all of them seem unnecessary. So the way this one works actually has a cylinder inside and it has this, uh, I don't know how you call it, this rubbery nipples inside. And what it does is when you turn it on, if I turn it on now, it's gonna be very noisy, but let's try. Can you see that? It's going in and out and it's rotating. Let me turn this off pretty quickly because it makes a lot of noise. Uh, Jesus Christ, this thing is amazing. Like the moment I tried it, uh, if you are subscribed to my OnlyFans, you're probably gonna see it. The moment I tried it, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like I can't even last in this one. Like I can't do one minute in this one. It, it, this is how good this one is. It's just insane. And uh, yeah, I finished with this one and it was it was really, really intense. It was amazing. You can control the way the cylinder moves how it moves in and out, if it goes only to the right or to the right and to the left. Very intense, very cool. Also, uh, I had to clean it afterwards and it was pretty simple. So the way you clean it, and I know like cleaning masturbators is kind of a hassle, especially afterwards, you kind of passed out and you're relaxed. You don't want to go and like start washing things on the inside. It's actually pretty simple. So you pop this plastic open and then you simply pull this rubber from outside and you can turn it the other way around and you can wash it on the inside. I did it in a minute or less. So really simple and then you can just attach it, put it back and you're done. Okay, so if we had to summarize out of all those 12, I'd say number 11 would be my favorite one. So it's gonna be number one in the description of this video if you wanna get it. And then I would say between number two and number seven, so both of them, I would put them in the second place, uh, they're both very, very good. I can't really choose one. And if I had to choose a device that is in the third place, that would be either number five or number eight. So I'm gonna include them down below so you can know which one I'm exactly talking about. But regardless, I thought I'm getting sent all those sex toys all the time and uh, I really can't use each and every one of them, you know, from start to finish. So I wanted to just test each one of them and kind of see how it feels so that I can give you guys the best of the best. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to take your masturbation to the next level, now you know how. And I think like if you would go and shop around for other masturbators, most masturbators online are gonna be a variety of one of those. So uh, you can be confident that if you choose the stuff that I mentioned here in this video, uh, they're gonna be some of the best, really. You can't go wrong with either one of the ones that I mentioned here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you appreciate uh, me doing the work for you. If you wanna see all those toys in action, make sure to check out my OnlyFans link. I posted the whole video, trying each and every one of them and uh, giving you my feedback while trying them. So if you're into that, make sure to check out the link in the description of this video. And anyways, I thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.